Hi guys, today we're going to be taking a look at Wiki again and see specifically how we use it for meetings. So by the end of this video, you'll see how we can use Wiki to keep your meetings on track. We'll see how you can significantly cut down on prep time by linking directly to files rather than making a deck to go into your meeting. And we'll see how we can use Wiki to make sure you get your actions done coming out of the meetings. So we've just been on a summer break, so it seemed appropriate not to post a video given that this channel's about work-life balance predominantly, but we do try and post a video every Tuesday. So make sure you hit subscribe and the little bell icon so you get notified every time there's a new video coming out. And without further ado, let's take a look at how Wiki can help us with meetings. So let's jump into Teams and you can see I've got Wiki open in full screen already. We've got two pages in the Wiki, one called Monthly Meeting and one called Meeting Read Me. So this is what it's going to look like at the end, but I'm going to step you through how we went about making this. So the benefits of this is that we've got the Monthly Meeting agenda. So one, you can see we've got a nice little header. I'll show you how we've got that in there. We've got a table of what our meeting agenda is going to be. Um, usual stuff in agenda, who owns it, timing, although we've not filled everything out, what the purpose is of that section. Uh, but most importantly, we've got links back to everywhere that we need an input into that section of the meeting. So this was for one of our monthly meetings in my day job where we're doing integrated business planning. And we've got a few uh, meetings all roll up into another meeting and then a couple of those meetings that roll up into a big meeting so our um, sales and operation planning process and planning for the entire business. All the support functions that need to feed data into those meetings before we had Wiki would have um, crunched loads of stuff into a spreadsheet, made multiple graphs, tables, and then spent time copying those into PowerPoint um, for each specific sub-meeting. What Wiki allows us to do is just link directly to the file and let people search or filter that file themselves for the particular meeting they're in, cutting down an enormous amount of prep time um, across our organization. So really, really valuable. So I'll take you through how to do that. Um, the first section is the agenda. And then underneath, we've just pasted the agenda down um, and got a section sort for each month. So we run like a um, actuals plus forecast to go process in my day job. So that's why it's seven plus five. Um, we've got the agenda going down for the notes and also we've got a section where someone can take notes as the meeting goes on. Uh, also you can see you can add a mention within a wiki and I'll show you what that looks like a bit later. And also then we've got a section to link back to planner. So if you uh, use planner already, we can link back to that. It's got some really good benefits to make sure your action gets completed. If you don't use Planner yet, we'll be doing another video on that soon. No, but I'll show you how to link your Planner actions in. So basically everything for the meeting is in one place. And the benefit of Wiki is that it'll start to post stuff into your conversations thread for you. And you can link it to Planner, which will be a tab in, in your team as well. So we've got the agenda and the notes section in one, which all looks nice, little header. And also we've got a meeting readme, so we can link back to that to start the meeting. So what is the purpose, what the objectives, what behaviors do you want? Um, and then sort of link back to going back to your, to, to start your meeting at the end. So that's the sort of end game that we want. And then the idea of the monthly meeting one is that we'll have the agenda, run it, um, have your notes underneath and always keep the latest notes at the top apart from the agenda. So that you would then insert a new section um, for the next month and call it something else. And then we can just copy that table underneath. But let's wind back a bit and then go and create this from scratch. So if this looks like something already that's gonna be useful to you, just make sure you comment below meeting wiki and we'll know that we're on the right sort of track. So new page is at the bottom, we'll click new page and it'll pop up and say, what's your page name? So we'll just call this month, monthly meeting two for now. Um, we want a section for the agenda and I call it agenda links so that everyone knows that 
it's both the agenda and you're going to work through it during your meeting. Um, and then how we got the table was these um, header bar up here, one of them's a table. Um, let me just remind myself how many sections we want. So we want five across. And if we click in the wiki, click the table, and then we want a five by however many. So five by five. So we start to fill out the table. Agenda, links, owner, timing, purpose, each section or however you would structure your agenda. And then we can start to fill us out, but we can quite quickly just start dragging your table to be the right sort of size. Um, just like in certain, any other table in uh, Office document. Um, so if we have intro, uh, body of the meeting, maybe a break, and then the end, not that you'd want a break just before you end. Um, but I guess to fill out your agenda as you would do, so like 10 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever you want to run for your meeting. Um, and then the main bit of the using Wiki is so we can link into other files. So in our day job, we've got a big team for uh, an entire sales channel and all the supporting functions that they work with. And we've got channels for each account and then other channels for each sort of sub sales section. And then in general, we've got a lots of other, like finance or category management or how, whatever you would have in your uh, business. So they might want to, it might make sense for them to save finance files in the finance folder in general, but then this meeting might be in uh, an account level meeting. So rather than reposting and copying stuff into the different channels, we're just then using Wiki to just point back to wherever the file is saved originally. Um, and the way we did that is just to literally go and pick up a, a link from wherever it is. So for this example, we're just going back into the files in the same channel. But say we've got a file in test folder one that we need to link in for one bit of the agenda. We'll go to there, get the link, copy it, go back to Wiki, um, type something that we know what it is. So starting file to start the meeting, use the link button at the top. So we make sure that uh, the links aren't really long and unwieldy. We just have it linked to a text to display. Um, and then so we want to go and link into a different folder. So test folder two, um, and then maybe pick this file as well off the test folder. And this one's to do with goals. So we'll just call that goals and link that in. And then as people are working through the agenda, they can link directly to those files rather than using a PowerPoint document and working through your PowerPoint document. You're just linking directly to the file, use that file for the meeting and then come back out to Wiki and then go into the next file use that for the meeting, come back out, go on to the next section. That's the idea of how we've set it up. If you want to uh, make it a little bit nicer to look at, so we've got that little header to start with. All we did for that one was just make a PowerPoint slide so you can use your company branded PowerPoint slide, produce a header and then take a snip of that header and then paste it into your wiki so it looks sort of branded to your company. So for this example, I've just picked a random template off PowerPoint and then say so we want to call this one meeting agenda. Uh, and then all I did was take a snip of that header. So uh, shortcut on Windows is Windows Shift S. Take a snip of that header that sort of looks about the same sort of size you would want in Wiki. Take the snip, jump back into Wiki and then literally just paste it in. Um, sometimes when you, as we talked about in the first video, when you're editing a section, you get a big people purple line, say that's the section that you're editing right now. Um, sometimes it goes a bit funny with a picture, to be honest, and you need to click out of it uh, above to uh, unedit it and then lock it. Sometimes when you go into full screen, the picture sort of shrinks. Um, if that happens to you, just click on the picture, you get this little, uh, bar to resize it and just 
pull it back up to full full width. Um, that's how to make your first meeting agenda with links in. Um, then how we created the the next block, which was the notes section, um, was literally to do another table, um, probably like three wide, with agenda, uh, notes, and link to planner action. And then just copy your agenda down. So we'll just have body and then say break was actually just a breakout session rather than an actual break. Um, so you might have some notes from each section, which someone, a note taker can take directly into Wiki. And then either you could use the notes section to do your actions if you wanted to. If you're already using Planner, you can link to a Planner action. The benefit of using Wiki rather than OneNote or any other note taking thing you might use, so you might put the notes directly in Word and send that out. Um, or you might um, use an Excel agenda and then put your notes directly in Excel. Benefits of using Wiki is you can use app mentions directly in the Wiki. So if I start app mentioning myself um, in the notes, so whoever's taking the notes can put a name to the note uh, if you want to put the actions in there or just mentioning that there's a note there. When I've put um, an app mention there and clicked out, those go red, and if I jump back to the conversations thread, I'll see a few of these, you'll see there's, a com there's something posted in the conversation thread and tagged you into the wiki. So it's saying there's a conversation about notes in the monthly meeting too, and saying that I've been mentioned, and then it automatically links me back into the wiki, and I can jump back into there to see where I've been mentioned. So that's one good thing about the integration between wiki and Teams. The other thing, as I mentioned in the first video, is you can start a chat about a specific section. So because I've already put an app mention for myself, I can see that thread already there. Uh, I could then go and directly next to the wiki, go and app mention someone else, put an update into the um, chat if it wasn't, if I didn't want to update the notes directly. So really good integration with Teams. Other thing is if we want to do a planner action, so say there's a really important action that I definitely want someone to follow up on. Um, we'll do another video on Planner specifically, but I can go and um, uh, action. <laughs> I can't think of a better action than that. Um, stick it in Planner, sign it a due date, sign it to myself, because there's only a few of us in the team. Add the task. If I'd added somebody else and signed it, they'd get a, a notification saying that you've been assigned a task. Benefits of Planner is that it will ping you before the task is due, as it's coming up, the day before it's due, the day it's due, the day after you've missed it, and a few day days after you missed it each uh, each week um, to chase you up. The second good thing about Planner is that wherever you're assigned a Planner action uh, in the entire organization, across any team, it'll feed back into your own version of Planner. So I'll go through that a bit more in our Planner video, but for right now, know that you can uh, put an action in, assign it to someone, and then this is just belt and braces to keep everything together. You can then copy a link to the task, and then go back and stick it in your wiki notes to say, well, I've got, I've seen what the agenda was, a recurring agenda. We've linked our files in so we don't have to create a big PowerPoint deck to go through the meeting. Uh, then we've got the notes for each month of the meeting so everyone can see exactly what's gone on um, for each section and the notes for each section and then mentioning anyone you want to know and then a link back to the planner action so you can see if someone's coming back in to review it so say a manager two or three levels higher just having a squeeze through see what's uh, going on everything's linked through so you can see all the supporting files all of the notes and link to the action see if it's then been completed or not so sort of bringing everything together the second page we did the readme, just another use for it. So we've done it as a meeting readme, but you could do it as a readme for anything else. Just an example of how you can create, this is how we work in this organization or in this channel or whatever section of the business you work in. So you can direct people back to that readme without doing much more training. So like, this is how we work, this is how the meeting is gonna run, this is what we expect from people all of that in your readme and then again you can link directly to either that page or each section 
So I think we had something like focus areas, um, focus, <laughs> focus uh, on big stuff, um, behaviors, something like that. And uh, don't be nasty, something like that. Um, and then we also had start meeting, which is just an example of you can link between pages or sections in Wiki itself. Uh, so let me just read now as meeting two. Um, so we can grab a link off this meeting agenda. So we copy that link. And then if we go into start meeting um, and What we did is link that back. So if people are jumping around and they sort of lose track where they are, or if you've got it in full screen, you don't need to know where you're going back to. And then if we grab a link from this meet readme and then stick it in the intro, we can uh, put a link in there as well. So when you're working your way through the agenda first time, you can click on the readme link. It'll take you into the readme uh, thing about how to run the meeting or whatever else you want people to know. Work their way through and then by the time you get to the bottom, it's like, all right, I want to go back now. So rather than them relying on knowing to click that little expand thing and go back, you can just put a link back to your original one. Got the nice banner in, got links to the files, all the notes sections all updated with app mentions and links to planner. So what do you think so far from what you've seen? Is this a useful thing for Wiki? Are you gonna use it? Let us know in the quiz above. And if this video is useful, make sure you like the video, click subscribe and the little bell icon so you get notified about our future videos. We've got new videos coming out every Tuesday. And then lastly, thanks for watching this far. We really like Teams for helping out with productivity and meetings, but we also think that there's a lot of scope to make meetings better in organizations. And that's why at MeTime, we created an app to help people run better meetings. Wiki really helps, uh, but we also think MeTime app will really help you out. So if that's something of interest, then make sure you check out metimeapps.com and go and take a look at our app. It's available on the iOS app store. So search for me time. I'll put a link to both the website and the app store link in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.